Hey everyone, talking about Black Jade by Luban. Wow, wow. Okay, so I am blown away by this, so impressed. I went in thinking I was going to outright dislike it, and not only do I not dislike it, but this is amazing. So the notes in this are galbanum, bergamot, cardamom, rose, jasmine, incense, cinnamon, Indian sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, tonka bean, and amber. So why did I think I was going to like this? Rose, cinnamon, patchouli, sandalwood. Rose I can tolerate definitely sometimes depending on how it's blended. Uh, patchouli, same. I usually don't like it, but there's times when it's okay. Sandalwood I just don't like. I don't hate it, but I just don't like it. And cinnamon, of course, it, snickerdoodle cookie, whatever, you know, Christmas spice is fine. I'm like, okay, I love it in that context. But usually with fragrances that I've tried that have cinnamon as a note, it tends to be too either like big red candy type of style or too kind of mature and harsh a bit. So I didn't have high hopes for this, but I had heard a lot about it and wanted to check it out. So yeah, I'm almost just speechless by how good this is. It does not smell intense at all in the way that I thought it might. I mean, so many of those notes are big, heavy hitters often, but this is just beautifully well blended. It doesn't smell too much like any one note. It really just becomes this cohesive cloud of, yeah, refined, but yet approachable at the same time. So that's another thing. Yeah, I thought this was going to be super mature leaning, and I don't even mean that by actual age, but just the type of scent itself which I normally don't like those, um, but this is supposedly based on a perfume that Marie Antoinette wore, that the apprentice of the perfumer who made for it then started Luban, but who knows if that's true or not. I guess cool. If so, maybe. Do we like her? I don't think so, but, um, <laughs> but it's interesting for the claim at least. And I thought another reason that might smell really dated or something, it does not. It has a more old school scent profile but it's done in a really modern way it's not over the top at all it's not stuffy but yet it's still refined and it's kind of surprisingly hard for fragrance houses to do that sometimes to come up with one that is refined kind of regal without coming across as like haughty and stuffy and old school and some people can totally pull that off if you dress in a really kind of fancy way and that's how you carry yourself or whatever some people <laughs> me definitely would not go with that vibe at all but and this is i should say marketed towards women it is really unisex in my opinion completely yeah even the fragrantica votes a lot of people voted unisex just as many if not more than voted a uh, feminine i believe so it's not masculine but it's also not something that smells explicitly just feminine i think this would be great for people who love Shalimar, for example, not because I'm trying to say it smells like a dupe of that or anything, but that kind of feel where it's sort of timeless and classy, but not stuck up necessarily. Like it's still common enough of a scent profile that it just smells nice, at least to me. I was impressed when I smelled Shalimar, both the EDP and the EDT. The galbanum here isn't too sharply green. The cardamom isn't too spicy. The vanilla and tonka bean amber don't create too much of a cloying sweetness. Also, I think for fans of feminine leaning Chanel fragrances, especially some of the like a little bit less aldehyde kind of less extreme and a little bit more laid back ones, this is very much like a garden, but not leaning too far into the earthy, soily side of it, and also not leaning too far into the bouquet of flowers right in your face type of thing. It's just extremely well blended, and I would absolutely recommend anyone check this out, kind of no matter what your taste is, just because to me this is just an example of really perfectly done fragrance. That doesn't mean for me it's full bottle worthy, it's just not quite my vibe to wear, but I think it's absolutely full bottle worthy in terms of the quality, the price, just everything about it. Smelling really pleasant, but also like a little bit unique and kind of very much like, oh, what's that? Wow, that smells good. If you were around someone wearing it, this goes for either 140 or a 50 mil or 180 for 100 mil. Yes, those are so fair prices for this. You can get a sample for $4. I will put the link in the description. You can get a sample or one of those bottles. Wow, though. And for some reason, it almost reminds me <laughs> during the mid at one point of Comme des Gassons, 
self-titled 2011. I have a review on my channel of a full bottle of that. I love that fragrance. It's very unique. That one has notes of glue and tape and stuff in it, so you wouldn't think it would smell like this, but this almost has like kind of leathery, saffrony, slight light florals part in the middle of it, and that's where it kind of has a reminiscence to that for me, but yeah, I just, this is really, really good. I, I think you should check it out for sure.